uh, told you and you better watch out later woohoo <laughs> <laughs> In all the times I've visited Kishron and Loch Arran, I've actually never been to the Isle of Skye. So today, Ewan and I have decided to make the drive over here. It took um, about an hour and a half to get to where we are now. After crossing the distinctive arc of the Skye Bridge and with the dreech and gloomy weather bearing down on us, my first impressions of Skye were more of a moody Scandi Noir drama where I was the lead detective driving to the crime scene. Towering, ominous mountains only strengthening its reputation as a mystical island steeped in legend and folklore, utterly atmospheric and ruggedly beautiful. The second of Scotland's largest islands, Skye is one of its most popular destinations and it's also a favourite filming location for movie makers. There are more sheep than people on Skye. So we are going for lunch at the Three Chimneys, which I am very excited about as I've heard really good things and I've heard the food is amazing. So yeah, it's a little treat. That was a really, really tasty lunch. Um, so glad that we made the trip up to the Three Chimneys. I had a beautiful strawberry wine to drink, sparkling wine, and it was oh, so good. So I looked it up online, I'm gonna buy some, it was that nice. Um, and then I had a couple of oysters to start with. Haven't had oysters for ages, but I do love a little oyster every now and again. I uh, told you and you better watch out later. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, then I had a uh, salmon for my starter and that was really delicious. And Ewan had a lasagna, gluten-free. All our dishes were gluten-free. Um, and then for main, I had pork belly loin, uh, pork belly and loin, which was really, really beautiful. Um, and Ewan had, what did you have again? Uh, beef. Beef, that was it. With haggis. Yes. Yeah. And then I had a duck egg custard for dessert, which was really, really good. And the waitress was super lovely, um, so the staff were really good. And yeah, it was, it was a real treat. Um, but I'm really glad that we came. We're back in Kishhorn and if you're doing the North Coast 500, I highly recommend stopping off here at the Bialik Cafe. Not only does it serve really tasty food, cakes, cups of tea, they've got lots of gluten-free options too, uh, but there's also a really nice little gallery and shop um, where you can buy some really nice pieces from local artists. We actually bought some lovely artwork for the house. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend paying this little place a visit if you're in the area. And also, it has lovely views of the Bialik itself. We've had a really great uh, time in the Highlands of Scotland. We really do love it here. We have seen some brilliant wildlife since we've been here. We've seen some majestic stags, absolutely beautiful. We've been for walks up into the hills where we saw them. We saw red deer, uh, stags on the beach, really, really beautiful creatures. And we've done some great walks. I actually fell in a bog today, so that was fun. That was something that I've never done before that I can tick off the list. Uh, we're gonna need picked up for back and trad. Yeah, but you've got my clothes, so. Um, actually went up to my waist in mud. So, you know, you can always count on us for some drama. 
Anyway, we really hope that you've enjoyed watching this vlog. Uh, next week we're actually going to be in the sunny, beautiful island of Lefkada in Greece. So we're really looking forward to bringing you some Greek adventures. In the meantime, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It's free of charge and we'd be really, really happy if you did that and hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and also let us in the, know in the comments below if you've been to the highlands of scotland where your favorite places are um, we'd love to hear that thanks so much and we'll see you next week <laughs>